6 Most Common Mac OS Monterey Problems and How to Fix Them Reboot Your Mac When you're having issues with your Mac after a software update, the first you should try is to restart the device. A lot of problems can be solved by simply rebooting the Mac. The restart will eliminate any minor bugs and glitches that could have occurred after the Mac OS update. If your Mac is slow, check your storage space and delete unnecessary files to leave more free space so your device can function better. Click on the Apple logo. Go to About This Mac, then go to the Storage tab. Wait while Mac calculates your storage space. Then click on the Manage button. When a new window opens, go through all your files and delete what you don't need to make space. If a problem is related to an app, if you started having issues with a specific app where the cause of the problem can be traced back to an app, we recommend updating it. Open the App Store. On the left sidebar, select the Updates option. Here you'll see all apps that are waiting for an update. Tap on Update All. If the mouse isn't working correctly, remove all Bluetooth peripherals. If you have a mouse connected with a cable, disconnect it as well. Then, reboot your Mac and reconnect other devices. Also, reset System Management Controller. It's responsible for various Mac hardware components and their activity. To reset the System Management Controller, visit our guide linked below. If Wi-Fi or Bluetooth aren't working. If Wi-Fi stops working, click on the Apple logo. Then, from the menu, select System Preferences. Go to Network. Select your Wi-Fi network and click on the minus button at the bottom. Wait for a bit and click on the plus button to re-add the same Wi-Fi. If Bluetooth stops working, click on the Apple logo. Then, from the menu, select System Preferences, go to Bluetooth, click on Turn Bluetooth Off, wait for a few seconds and click on the Turn Bluetooth On button. If you can't shut down the Mac, before shutting down your app, Ensure all apps are fully closed and not running in the background. If you can't close an app normally, you can force quit it from the Activity Monitor. Open the Activity Monitor app. Under Process Name, locate the app you want to close and select it. Then, click on the X button. When you're asked to confirm the action, click on Force Quit. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to pick up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files, Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.